Ever wonder how much you can find out about someone with just a few clicks? I'm not talking about hacking or anything shady, but rather something called open source intelligence, also known as OS Int. It's like being a detective in the digital age, tracking someone's digital footprint through publicly available information. And don't worry, we are doing this the ethical way. No spy gear required. So grab your magnifying glass and let's dive into the fascinating world of open source intelligence. So what exactly is open source intelligence? In short, it's gathering information from the stuff already out there in the wild. We are talking websites, social media, public records, and databases, anything that's publicly available. Think of it like being a treasure hunter, except instead of gold, you are digging up valuable insights about people or organizations. But here's the key. It's all about using what's publicly available. You are not breaking into anyone's accounts or snooping around where you shouldn't. Just leveraging what's already out there. Simple, right? Now, a quick disclaimer. While open source intelligence is super powerful, it's crucial to stay on the right side of the law. Misusing this info for illegal purposes? Definitely a no-go. Be smart and remember, your actions should always respect privacy and follow the rules. Let's start with public records. These are often a gold mine of information. Depending on where you live, you can find all sorts of details like who owns a property, who's registered to vote, or even who's been in court recently. For example, if you want to track down someone's real name, you can start by checking out people lookup sites. Websites like Spokio or Intelius are great for uncovering info like home addresses, phone numbers, court cases, and more. In some countries, you can get this information for free. However, in other places, you might need to do some extra searching like using specific details or names. But once you find the right way in, there's a lot of useful information available. Alright, buckle up because here comes one of my favorite tricks, Google Dorking. Sounds mysterious, right? Well, it's basically using Google search to find super specific, hidden and often overlooked data. For example, let's say you are hunting down someone named Robert Johnson. Instead of just typing his name into Google, you use this advanced search. Boom! Now you are scanning LinkedIn profiles of people with that name. And you might just find exactly who you are looking for. You can change LinkedIn with any other social media platform like Facebook and Instagram to find the person's profile on that particular platform. Another cool trick. Try the search query shown on the screen. This could lead you to resumes or CVs that reveal a ton about someone's work history and education. Remember, this isn't about hacking, it's just using Google in a way most people don't know. And hey, you can even do this on Bing, Yandex or DuckDuckGo to get different results. Trust me, there are hundreds of Google docking search operators out there that make tracking someone's digital footprint a cakewalk. I'll leave a link to them in the description. Don't forget to check them out. Now let's talk social media intelligence. Social media is like a big loud window into a person's life. People post all kinds of information about where they are, what they are doing and sometimes even way too much. Take Instagram for example. If you search for hashtag like Robert Johnson, you might find posts that show his whereabouts, interests and even friends. Hashtags and location tags are your best friends here, so don't be afraid to dig through posts and comments. And speaking of digging, there's a tool called Social Searcher that can be used for open source intelligence by searching publicly available data across multiple social media platforms like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Reddit. It allows users to track specific keywords, hashtags, or brand mentions in real time, providing insights into users trends and discussions. Moving on, here's a creepy but useful one. Data breaches. Yup, sometimes people's personal data gets leaked online. Emails, passwords, phone numbers, you name it. As unsettling as it sounds, these leaks can be super helpful in piecing together someone's digital footprint. Start with the following site to see if an email address has been involved in any breaches. And if you want to dig deeper, check out the following site which might even show associated passwords or more exposed details. And here's something wild. 
just a phone number can reveal a lot of information. Use the following site to track down the country, carrier and possibly even the owner of a phone number. It's like following a trail of digital breadcrumbs. Now, what if you have a photo and you want to know more about where it came from? Enter reverse image search. You can use tools like Google Images or TinyEye to upload a photo and find out where else it's been posted on the internet. This can lead you to profiles or websites you never would have found otherwise. And wait, photos have hidden data too. EXIF data is like digital footprint left behind in an image. It can tell you where the photo was taken, when it was snapped and even what device was used. Tools like EXIF tool or Pixel Peeper help you analyze this data and uncover even more secrets. Manual searching is fun, but sometimes you need to speed things up. That's where automated open source intelligence tools come in. These tools scan hundreds of sources at once, uncovering connections and information in the blink of an eye. Take Spiderfoot for example. This tool checks over 100 data sources to give you a complete profile of your target. Or the Harvester, which is like a supercharged email and domain investigator. Want to go even further? Multigo is a visual tool that helps you see the relationships between people, companies and websites. It's like a mind map of the digital world. Alright, time for a reality check. With all this power comes a ton of responsibility. You have got the ability to uncover a person's digital life. But that doesn't mean you should invade their privacy or use this information for harm. Always make sure your open source intelligence activities are ethical, legal and for good causes. Whether that's strengthening your digital security, investigating a case or just learning more about the digital world around you. To wrap things up, Open source intelligence is like having a digital magnifying glass at your fingertips. Whether you are diving into social media, using Google docking, checking out data breaches or running reverse image searches, the possibilities are endless. Just remember, use this power wisely, ethically and always respect privacy. If you learned something new today, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more tips and drop your questions in the comments below. Until next time, stay safe, stay curious and keep exploring the digital world.